Hey guys, Joey Blue here. <clears throat> Today I want to talk about Power BI and just kind of show you how easy it can be to transform XML into a report like this. And so today what I want to use as a demonstration I guess is is a website called Clickbank. It's an affiliate website so it has a bunch of products um, under categories and subcategories and then they sell different products um, like how to sketch, right? Perspectives made simple, stuff like that. And what you can do is you can sell these products on your website and you make money and they make money and everybody wins. Um, but you don't know which products to sell and which ones make the best money. So we're going to pull in some XML data and we're going to analyze it right here inside of Power BI. So what I really, the gist of it is this report here they have a data file out there, an XML data file that looks like this. And we're going to transform this thing into this report. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing I need to do is start a new file. Obviously we already have this one. Um, so I'm just going to do a brand new one. It's going to fire off a new instance of the Power BI desktop. And from here what we want to do is go get data. So in here, what I know I want to get is an XML file. So let me go in there, and I know where my data is at. It's actually sitting under this folder. So there it is, and there's all that XML data. So we open that up. Um, we pick the only thing the option there is, which is category, and we're going to choose to edit it. So now what we're sitting here is we've got the categories. So if we look back at um, the categories, arts and entertainment, business and investing, computers and internet. So we've got all those. So we're getting the same data set that we have in the website. Let's go ahead and expand this out. And underneath it, it has a, a category name. So now I can rename this one. category. Okay, and so here is our subcategories. Let's bring this over one more time. So art art and entertainment, you can see there's 11 rows there now, and that's because of the subcategories. Art, body art, dance, art, body art, dance. So we have all the subcategories. Pull that back over. Let's rename this column to subcategory. Okay, and so now we have one final thing here. Let's drill into the table. And here's all the details, the title, the popularity rank, the ID, the description. And so this here just drilled in and it made a little another step. I'm gonna take that step back off, take that step off, and we're back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and split this out. But this time I'm gonna get rid of this use original column name as prefix and click that and that's going to give me some good column names right across the top here. So the last one of the last things I'm going to get rid of site. I don't need that, so I'm going to delete it. There's remove. And now I have my data set. Let's go ahead and look through it a little bit. One thing I notice is that some of these columns don't have the right data types. So Gravity is a number, percent per sale is a number. So let's go ahead and change these over. So like this one, if I go to transform, data type any, let's go ahead and come in and do percentage. Whoa, that didn't work because that's too big for a percentage. So let's just make that a decimal for now. And let's go ahead and grab, um, can I grab multiples? Yep, let's grab all of these. And let's make them all decimals. That's nice. Oh, one more. And the reason we're making them decimals is so that we can actually use them as formulas in a further step here. This activation date, I want to make it a date. Boom. So we've got these all figured out now. So that right there gives us a chance to um, start putting reports together. So let's do that. So this is the Power Query, query area. Um, I'm going to hit Close and Apply. And so now it's loading into the data model. And 
right here we're in the power pivot okay so let's go ahead and go back to the report um, and let's build something so let's start with the category so I'm just going to click a little check mark there and let's put ID in and I'm going to go ahead and click this down arrow and say count the IDs and so now we have the count of ID and then I can go ahead and click on a little chart there and let's sort it by count of ID and now we have the top um, products so health and fitness self-help e-business are the top ones I want to go ahead and turn on the data labels so we can see those numbers and we can always blow this up if you want to see it bigger so let's take it back to the report and now what I want to do is I want to copy this control C control V I have another one right here okay and this one instead of category I actually want to go to um, subcategory so I'm going to get rid of that drop on subcategory and when we click on self-help now you can see what category subcategories are in there so we have dating general I can blow that up and you can see that so we've already started to create some reports here um, next I just want to create a grid right down here and I want to just go ahead and grab the category subcategory ID title description let's pull this across here take it down and then let's start grabbing in um, activation date and then some of these numbers we've got gravity popularity rank okay so now we know every lot of stuff about this um, I like the average earnings per sale so I'm going to sort it and so now we already have a real interactive report check this out click on health and fitness and below we're getting this grid to interact with us um, I do need to take this title down a little bit I want to fit this all without scrolling okay so we can go into subcategories diets and wellness and we can see that the top earner is this new excuse no excuses body makeup me makeover membership so we can immediately see what the top earners are um, so now I want to add a few KPIs in here and what I want to see is I want to see the average sell um, by category and so what we need to do is we need to add a, a metric in here and we can do it in the modeling area and we can say new measure and this measure what I want to measure you can see we got this little place up here it's not very big let's make that bigger where we can create a measure and so we're going to say average cell what we're going to do is we're going to average the average earnings per cell so to do that what I want to do is I want to sum we want the average earnings per cell and I could stop there and I would just get the sum of them but that's not going to give me a whole lot I want to divide that by the count of the I was count the IDs and so now I have an average cell and let's go ahead and format that um, as a decimal number with two decimals so now over here let's go ahead and drop we have the new average cell so I'm going to put that there but I don't want it like that I want to use a little KPI so we have the 16 I also want to do one of these with um, the count of ID and that didn't give me the count so let's go ahead and come in here and say count and I want to turn that into a little card and then so we're getting pretty close here to what we had at the beginning 
except for some styling. And then finally, I want to add a little title to this. So let's grab that over here. And this is ClickBank um, Product Analysis. And let's go ahead and make that bigger. Let's go like 28. Make it bold. Pull this up. And let's, I don't know, let's center it. Okay. So now let's see what we got. If I interact with this, there's 5,479 counts or products. If I click here, there should be 1,025 with the average cell of 33. So overall, there was 23. I can go into the diet and wellness. And let's switch this subcategory up and start using the average cell. So if I come over here, drop the count of ID, drop in the average cell, sort it by that. So now we got a whole different view on what's the biggest sellers. So let's go to eBusiness. And domains have 136 average sell. And you can see over here, for some reason I scrolled down, but here's some of the biggest earners. Magic Submitter by Alex, Ale Alexandra Krulik. So we've already got a pretty good little um, dashboard so the last thing we need to do is style some of this and make it a little bit prettier. So let's toss in some styling. So first off, I want to change the data colors. Let's go with um, yellow. Okay. Uh, and then I need to turn on the title. Turn it. Um, let's turn the font black. Background yellow. And let's do um, products by category. And let's center it. Let's up the font a little bit. Okay, like it. Let's move over here. Let's grab purple. And on the font colors, go purple. Not the font color, sorry, I did that wrong. Not gonna be able to read that. Let's go back here. Black, what did we do, 12 or 13? I can't remember. Let's go down one, boom. Okay, so we have that styled. Um, let's go ahead and style, not this one, let's style these. So I just want to say product count for the title, so let's turn title on, product count, um, font color black, and let's make that one yellow because that's where our product count is, and let's turn off the category label. There we go, and we need to center this, make it 12. Drag it down just a little bit. And let's, I wish there was a format painter like in Excel, but there's not. So let's turn the title on. This is a average cell. Let's do a little black, a little background color of purple, center 12, and turn off the category label. Okay, so what do we have? That all looks really good. Let's let's format this table while we're at it. Um, let's see if there's just a style we like. There's a minimal, bold header. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna stop there. Um, so now, what's also cool about this? Check this out. If I just want to click on dating guide it just filtered everything I guess it didn't matter so much here but you can click on any category you want and you're going to get interaction with it um, and really that's it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this out there so you can interact with it um, but that went that is basically the whole tutorial that takes us from this Excel file straight up to this report very interactive and you can do this with so many different data sources and that's why I'm, I'm loving Power BI so much, um, and that's why Power BI has really taken off. So anyways, if you have any questions, just let me know with comments below, and uh, I'll see you next time.